What we expected to see was not what we actually saw. We saw the beginning being a very quiet event except for what was going on inside the walls of the hospital to prepare for the event, which was a lot of activity, a lot of preparation, a lot of planning and discussion and communication, but it was very quiet in terms of patients coming on board. In those early days of preparing, it was definitely an all-hands-on-deck approach. It wasn't just our clinical teams that were working hard to care for our patients. It was all of our teams working hard to prepare. It was our nutrition services learning how to use new protocols. It was our maintenance team learning how to air handle and keep the air clean within the hospital. So we've kind of made it through that first phase and we entered the second phase, which is preventing the illness through vaccination rather than just isolation. So we really transitioned to preparing for the mass vaccination clinics. It was such an amazing collaboration between the community and the hospital to be able to put these on. We had so many volunteers that wanted to be a part of the solution. They wanted to partner with us. After the planning and preparing for the vaccination clinics, then it was kind of this unknown what to expect after that. And that's when we entered this third phase, which was another wave where we actually did see an influx of uh, ill folks that we were prepared for because we had prepared for in that first phase. Throughout the pandemic, the information was changing almost minute by minute. We had to maintain a constant state of preparedness. If we had to identify a silver lining, I would say it was the confidence that we've instilled, not only in ourselves, but our community. What we saw in our care team was this amazing resiliency, this ability to manage anything that came our way. I think we're coming out on the other side, feeling very confident and very energized to tackle whatever the next challenge is.